Good afternoon, everyone. I'm here with Graham from One Donation for our show today. So welcome, Graham. Thank you very much. It's always good to have new faces on the show. So you are uh, with One Donation, your, your business, and you came from Winston-Salem today to visit me at HQ Greensboro. Yeah, nice place. It's beautiful. Yes, it is. One of the, the many conference rooms here. So I would love to hear a little bit more about One Donation and what you have going on right now. Okay, so uh, One Donation, as you know, is a tech company, and we help uh, nonprofits raise money uh, through payroll deductions. So think of us going into large businesses and facilitating corporate giving plans, and we do that through payroll deduction. Uh, and we've just used technology to do that. So we leverage technology to help people um, in activities that they're already doing. Awesome. Leveraging technology, that's something that I, um, I, know, I, I forgot to say that we can speak or look through the, the look, camera. Look at this so way and not each other. Excited. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Those little notes. <laughs> okay. Note to self. So, yes, note to self. <laughs> Leveraging technology, that's been something on my mind um, recently with just the different newsletters I follow. I, I'm a big fan of Peter Diamandis and he has a couple different companies and he's involved in XPRIZE, the Longevity Project. Okay, I've heard of that. And um, just the, the way that we're using technology right now is constantly evolving. So it sounds like you're making it easier for people to donate. Yeah, and I kind of like you, I like what technology is doing. We're at this age right now where um, everything is going quicker and quicker, right? So yeah. uh, just the shift in people's buying habits, you see what's happened with um, Blockbuster going to Redbox and Netflix and the hotel industry changing and it's technology that's really making all these things happen. And uh, we're just really in the giving space and we're happy to be a part of it. And I'm excited to be just like living in this period really because it's happening so fast, it's really exciting. It is. There's so much that we can do now just on a day-to-day -day basis. The fact that we're sitting here having this conversation, you know, getting in front of people. And Absolutely. Just uh, spreading the word about what's going on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, just like this weekend, uh, our, our television broke, right? And so we used to have this box that we have to put up, but now it's a, we have a smaller one downstairs, and, and it's a smart TV. So we're, you know, all these TVs now, they do everything, like your your computer can sync to it, your phone can sling the image over to it. And it, it's like, wow, even my, in just five years, the technology has been drastically improved. It's really cool. Yes, definitely. So what are some cool um, nonprofits that, that you've worked with as far as your ability to contribute through your okay. own work? Yeah, right now we're starting to do some stuff with the uh, Clemens Food Pantry most recently. So okay. that's in Clemens, uh, North Carolina. Uh, and helping them with a building project uh, that they're starting. So uh, we hope to help them take uh, this building project. It's like a legacy project, right? So you're helping to build a building that's going to be there for a while. Uh, helping them to take it out to, the, to uh, large donors that have already been given to them in the past. This time to build a large legacy project. Uh, we've also worked with stuff like uh, the Elkin Valley's uh, Mountain Bike Trails Association, just little nonprofits that um, do things like keep our mountain bike trails clean. Oh. That's pretty cool, too. Yeah. Uh, so what we can do and where we can be leveraged is from the small to the medium to any kind of nonprofit. And um, we're just happy to be our like the one little arm in that transaction. That's awesome. I love that. I was That's actually cool. just talking to someone the other day. Um, he has, a, I think it's a Cause Roasters. I'll have to confirm the name. Cause Roast? Yeah, Cause okay. Roast. And um, they're, you know, doing a work around coffee and giving. And okay. just it. it's always good to see people who are incorporating those social aspects. Is that of, Danny Yerlich? Is that Brian? I'm um, Greg Pittman. Greg Greg Pittman. I know Greg yeah. too. And there are two of them. Greg Pittman. I know Dick Greg Pittman. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Oh yeah. He's a good guy. Yeah. So it's just super fun learning about the different businesses in the area who are making contribution to the community. Uh huh. Yeah, and um, that's where we find ourselves. I mean, we met each other, I think, at Venture Cafe, right. which is another nonprofit that's really contributing to our community. Uh, love them, um, and I'm you know. Personally, I'm a big supporter of our tech community and the emerging entrepreneurs, whether it be tech or not. Um, and, and we have a lot of good stuff going on here in Winston-Salem, Greensboro right now. 
Yes, definitely. Growing, growing. So I always like to ask what uh, people are learning recently, the little tidbits that they've picked up. I'm an okay. avid reader myself and just like love hearing what else is, is going on for other people from that perspective. Um, I'd say two things, but most recently the 12-week the year uh, for me as a book, uh, we, our, our, our company, One Donation, we came out of an accelerator a few weeks ago. And um, one of the things I, that I liked about the accelerator, it was a very um, straightforward, like well thought out 12 week period. And we wanted to redo that again. So the 12 week year for us, we started implementing it and, and building that out. So that's a great book that I read. And okay. I've heard a lot of good opinions about that. I don't know if you have. And then the one before that was the, the Lean Startup, um, yes. which is another fantastic book. And um, I think what our accelerator did is they took the lean startup method and they wrapped it in like a 12 week year concept. Hmm. Um, and I found that to be for our company, um, very, very, very useful and uh, helped us grow quite a bit. That's awesome. I'm actually obsessed with like business systems and right. whether it's a marketing system or operation uh -huh. and how people put that together. So like the whole lean model, I was actually just talking to someone this morning who um, is a, um, what's the term, EOS, Entrepreneurial Operating okay. System. So that's um, Gino Wickman with Traction. Okay. And then I wrote another book, Rocket Fuel. I gotta get my names right. <laughs> There's a lot of good books out yeah. there, especially right now. Yeah. Yeah, so just seeing the, the different models and which apply to which area of your, your business, I think mm -hmm. is really important and when to, to use which. Absolutely. And those decisions are important too. And as an entrepreneur, you don't, you got to get some guidance somewhere and, and uh, good books um, are, are good places of wisdom. And I try to follow like folks like you that maybe do you do a, a, a list that you publish the books that you like? Do you let folks, I mean, you're letting some folks now obviously know right. this, but I, I like to follow a couple folks and, and say, hey, if they recommend a book, it's one I put on my, to listen to audio books usually for me. Yes, definitely. Yeah. I have my good reads list, but actually I should start to make that public. I started doing blog posts about mm -hmm. the events that I'm going to, just right. to let people know, like, hey, you want to go to an event? I saw that. I wanted to show my wife about that. Oh, Absolutely. good. Absolutely. Yeah, it looks like you're <laughs> out and about quite a bit. Yes, yeah. it's just so much fun. Like, uh -huh. There's a lot of great events between the triad and the triangle. Mm -hmm. and so now you've given me an idea to start one for books. So thank you. Absolutely. For Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. Awesome. Was well, there anything else that you want to share with people? Anything, you know, whether it's about your work or just life in general? Um, no, just uh, continue, continue to support the causes you care about. Like what, what we like to say is together we can make a difference. And this was my first podcast ever, or excuse me, not podcast, Facebook Live <laughs> ever. Uh, so for me, this was an interesting experience. So thank you everybody for your patience. <laughs> yes. Well, it's always it's a work in progress for myself right. too. Like sometimes I'll do it solo. Sometimes I'll do it with someone else, and mm -hmm. it's just all you know a part of keeping in contact and being like, hey, everybody, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, popping up from the computer screen where we're all you know we're there. Yeah, we're there. We're here. All the time. So. Um, I would love to hear feedback, and I will include links to the nonprofits that Graham mentioned and the books as well. As well. Um, the 12 week year sounds really good. So it's a good book, too. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And thanks for having me. Yes, thanks so much, and we'll chat again soon. Thank See you. Bye bye.